Today's a pretty special day for us, and it really makes uh, it, it's very meaningful to be able to to share this with our our friends, our neighbors, our special guests who are here, and all who forever stand under the umbrella as members of the MVAA family. My name is Bill Edson, and I'm the Chief Operations Officer of Middlebury Volunteer Ambulance Association. It's my privilege to speak this morning on behalf of the Board of Directors and all the members of MVAA, and we all thank you for being here on this special day. As you know, we are here in celebration of two very important milestones in the history of this organization. The dedication of this wonderful facility and the 40th anniversary of a magnificent organization that is the Middlebury Volunteer Ambulance Association. When I started here as Chief Operations Officer two and a half years ago, I had absolutely no idea that a building project even existed. About three months later after I started, I was eyeball deep into it. I had absolutely zero experience leading such an effort, and I learned very quickly that this was a very involved project. But it all started about eight years ago when then the operations supervisor, Peter Newton, and an organizational committee that included Ronnie Sunderland and Wedge Murdoch began the tedious process of researching the station design and site locations, finding an architect and deciding on a contractor. In fact, when I moved into the supervisor's office, I found a stack of notebooks and files that contained the evidence of their efforts that literally brought them around the state doing research and seeking resources. Scott Supernaut became the next supervisor and he picked up where Peter, Peter left off by establishing a relationship with Middlebury College that ultimately led to this site and named Timothy Duff as the architect, Breadloaf Corporation as general contractors for the project. And then it became my turn. And despite the challenges and countless hours of effort, it was the absolute gravity of the project that honored me to bring to fruition all the planning of those before me and the dreams of all the members and past leadership that had the foresight to build a, found, a funding foundation that without would not have made such a project possible. I'd like to mention one in particular, B.J. Calhoun, as a, perhaps a special contributor in this cause. Because I think arguably it could be said that if it weren't for her, that this building would not even exist. I learned fairly early in my career as a member of the United States Army that a leader is only going to succeed to the level of competence of those he surrounds himself with. And with that, I, I can say that I feel proud to thank the following as friends, partners, and primary contributors to this project. Tim Emperor, Michelle Purley, and Wedge Murdoch, and the rest of the board of directors, the residents of South Street, Middlebury College, Porter Hospital, Bread Loaf Construction, Otter Creek Engineers, the architect Timothy Duff, the town of Middlebury, the People's Bank, formerly known as the Chittenden, the USDA and the office of Bernie Sanders, who helped provide funding, and all of those who have generously contributed their time, efforts, financial support towards the current uh, effort of the building capital campaign. Author Kurt Vonnegut once said, I can think of no more stirring symbol of a man's humanity that, to that rather than a fire truck or an ambulance. The fire truck, more than any other tool, represents to every community that there are members of that community who are willing to sacrifice their own precious time, their own collected treasures, their own humanity in the protection of others' lives. It matters deeply that when the suffering, the scared, and the threatened hear our sirens and our air horns, that their hearts rise in hope, for the picture they see is not of you or me, but a six-ton medal of honor. With this in mind, we are going to borrow a tradition from our fire service in a symbolic, in a symbolic ceremony that is the act of transferring, transferring the old to the new and honoring past to present 
when dedicating a new station or a new, new piece of apparatus. The tradition is called setting the engine. And the symbolism stems from when fire engines were horse-drawn and upon returning from a call, the team of horses were, were removed and brought to the stable, the wheels of the apparatus were washed, and the engine was pushed into the bay by hand and set for the next call. Today, we will wash a wheel of the ambulance, which symbol symbolically represents acknowledgement of returning from the final run of the old station and in the past, and then by pushing the ambulance into the bay by hand, it will then, we will then set the engine, which represents our readiness to officially begin service from the new station. So at this time, I'm going to ask all present or any other former member who would like to be a part of this tradition to come forward to lay their hands onto the ambulance to be able to push it into the bay to set the engine for the next call. Beforehand, I'm going to uh, acknowledge Paula Mayer, who will take the honor of washing the wheel as a longtime uh, member and represent representative of all former members of MVAA. At this time, we're going to do uh, what perhaps may be a more recognized tradition of dedicating a uh, facility, and we're going to unveil a dedication plaque. And now I'm, uh, I'm asking Wedge to come forward to uh, work his way over to the plaque on the wall of, next, to the, next to the door. And as he works his way, go ahead, go right over. As he works his way over, I want to take this opportunity to honor Wedge Murdoch, who has been a member of this organization since, it's, since it first began in 1970. He has selflessly served for 40 continuous years as an active member of Middlebury Volunteer Ambulance Association. With this, beginning today, his selfless dedication will be honored with a display that is now hung in the administrative area of the building, and I urge you all to take time to view it as you visit um, during today, uh, before you leave today. So congratulations, Wedge. We thank you for all your service. A true model for all of us in his dedication to this organization. The plaque reads, in honor of all MVAA members, past and present, who have, who have selflessly brought care to those in need, and in serving the mission of delivering the highest quality of emergency medical services, this building is dedicated September 19th, 2010. In closing, I would like to say that this facility is so much more than a building of concrete and timber or, or a fancy new place to work. It is a community resource for our state, our county, and a community, to our neighbors, in our allied first responder agencies. It is the home of a heritage of people, a family of caring individuals who for 40 years have been willing to meet the needs of the call, no matter when or where, what or why, or that when the tone rings, that they drop it all and they go to help their fellow man. Thank you again for sharing this day. I'll be happy to give tours throughout the time that you're here. The building is yours and is open for your viewing today and any time.
Thank you again.